and after I've gotten the minutes, I know that after dividing by 60, any remainder left is, sec uh, is going to be my seconds. If, if I've divided by 60 to, to, and I've gotten any in, in exact minutes from it, the only thing left is, is my seconds. And to find a remainder from this division, I'm basically going to copy this whole line here, paste it. Okay, I don't want the, the, this remainder here divided by 60. I want the remainder from dividing this remainder by 60. So to, to get a remainder of this division, basically this, to, to get a remainder of this remainder, okay, I, don't, I don't want to confu confuse you with uh, too, too many remainder words. So to get a, to, the remainder of this division, basically this, to get a remainder of this divided by 60, okay, I'm going to change this division sign to, to the modulus. So this is going to give us the remainder of this divided by this. Just like this, we're getting a remainder over here. Gives us a division. Years seconds divided by eighty six thousand four hundred. To get a remainder of years seconds divided by eighty six thousand four hundred, we 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 change the division sign to modulus. So years seconds modulus eight, modulus eighty six thousand years seconds modulus eighty six thousand four hundred gives us the remainder of years seconds divided by eighty six thousand four hundred. The same way, years seconds basically this whole thing modulus sixty gives us the remainder of this whole thing divided by 60 okay and like I said if you if you've, you've been able to get all the exact seconds from it okay if for example either types 121 or let's say 61 61 seconds we divide 61 if by, if by this point if by this point we have 61 stored here 61 divided by 60 is going to give us one minute and then one second so store the exact number of minutes in, in here in minutes and then to get that one second as a remainder. Okay, so basically 61 divided by 60 gives us one point. Basically, if I come here and I, I say 61 divided by 60, I get 1.01. So basically store the one in minutes, all right? Store the one in minutes. And then this is the remainder. This is the remainder that's going to be passed over. I want to get the remainder. I don't want to get the whole thing. I want to get... So it's going to store this this value, okay, in minutes. It's going to go ahead and store this value in minutes, okay. But I want to. I'm, what I'm interested in is just the one, any full minute I can get. I don't want any d remainder, on any full minute. So if it's displaying this number, I'll go ahead and convert it to an integer. So we just displace this. If it's an integer division, it's automatically going to display just the in integer part of it. But I'm interested in the remainder now, so I want to carry over the remainder into seconds and whatever is left after I've found the minutes. After I've found the exact whole minutes is my seconds. So I'm finding the remainder of this division, this whole division here, divided by 60. By typing this modulus 60, that's going to give me the remainder from dividing this by 60. And we're done. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to print out the values of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So system dot out dot print Alan. I'm going to print out uh, basically a string and say days. I'm going to concatenate it with a string and say days days comma and then concatenate it with a string and say hours. Um, yeah, let's say hours and then concatenate it with another string and say hours hours right no sorry concatenate with hours and then a string over here and then concatenate it with minutes minutes and then concatenate it with seconds seconds like this okay so basically this should should, should uh, do the job so over here you can see this program you can see a lot of it wasn't necessary so this is program has been done the same way but then in a shorter manner the only thing is we've combined a couple of steps together in one and that's why this is shorter <coughs>
So I'm going to go ahead and compile this, fix any errors, and then run it. So let me chapter three. Um, no, actually, I'm going to change, uh, save this in a different. So I'm going to Java other programs. I've done one one so far, but I'm going to name this as um, um, time calculator. You know what? Um, let's see. I'll say. Um, should I name it this way? I'll figure out. I'll figure out. I'll just. But now let me just do this. Come time calculator. Version two. Oh, variation two. Uh, version two. I don't know. I'll change it. I'll change it later on. So time calculator. Two. I guess. Um, variation two. <laughs> variation two or version two. I don't know. And um, I, I need to. If I do this, I need to save the save the class the same way or the same name as this. I just keep this to version two. I don't know. I'll change it. I'll change the name later on. So I need to change this also to because the name of the class has to be has to match the name of the file. The file. So f version two. And then compile this. Okay and. We don't have any errors, so <coughs> I'm going to run this and test it to see what happens. You know what? Let me test this one first. I mean, this one we we, we already tested it, so it's, it it also works. But if I don't know, probably I don't know in terms of speed, maybe one will run faster than the other. But like I said, they both work. This is the first one. This is the very first one. So I type in 61 seconds, and it says one minute one second. I, so I was supposed to run this, but I didn't run it. Um, and I think I declared some of them as doubles. I, I wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't supposed to. I guess I. I thought some of the seconds would would be doubles, but I don't have to. Um, let me run this again. But I'll, I'll I'll switch to the main one soon. Let me run this again and type in. Let's say one twenty one seconds. So I'm expecting two minutes one second, right? I get two minutes one second. So this is also working. But we haven't gone through it fully. But if you watch the other program, you'd 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 if you watch this program, okay, for the the video for this program, you'd you'd see how it works. But this is the new one, so let's try it and see. So I'm going to run this. Oops, compile this and run it. You know, let me close this so I, I close this. This is the old one, so that so that I don't get you, you know maybe anyone doesn't get confused that we are we are running the old one. So this is a new one we're running. Please enter the number of seconds. Let me just. Let me just um, put put a couple dots here so we know that we are running this one. I just wanted to, you know, just want to make you all you know. So this is the new one we're running. Okay, now I'm going to take it back. <laughs> Some kind of conf confirmation that we are running the new one. All right. Please enter the number of seconds. I'm going to type in one second and hit hit enter. So now I say zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, one second. Let's try 59 seconds. Just 59 seconds. Let's just try 60 seconds. And we're expecting one minute, right? So 60 seconds, and we get one minute. Let's try 61 seconds. We get one minute, one second. Let's try 120 seconds. We're expecting two minutes. 121 seconds. Two minutes, one second. Let's try 3,600 seconds. Get, we get one hour. Let's try 3,601. We get one hour, one second. Let's try 86,400. One day. Let's just try 86,400. Let's add 60 to it so we get one minute also out of it. Let's add two seconds so we can get two seconds out of it. So we are expecting one day, one minute, one two seconds. One day, one minute, two seconds. So one day, one minute, two seconds, and it works. Um, yeah. Let's try a big number. Maybe a big number. Let's say seven, eight, six, something like this. We get nine days, two hours, fourteen minutes, and thirty-four seconds. So it's given us the exact days, exact hours, exact minutes, and exact seconds. So. This is another variation of the other one, okay? 
so as you can see it's a, sh a shorter version of it so this this also works okay if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them before i end this let me pull out the other one and try to explain why some of it is not necessary so this is the first one so over here we're just declaring variables now over here because the program the question had you know a bunch of if statements in there i i just I just use it. I just I just created an if statement, but we don't have to basically. We don't have to create an if statement because guess what? This calculation over here is going to it's going to calculate the days regardless. See, like this one, we th this calculation over here calculated the days regardless. We didn't have to check if the net seconds is greater than or equal to it 86,400. But this is what we did over here. We didn't have to, although it works. We didn't have to. We do, it's not necessary because this calculation over here is going to calculate the days regardless of whatever seconds you put in there. If you put in um, one second divided by 86,400, okay, so if you put in one second divided by 86,400, it's still going to work. You're going to get zero days. This is what we're interested in. Zero is going to be returned and stored in days. And then the remainder is going to be, is going to be the user seconds, much less seconds in a day. So this remainder over here, this full remainder over here, um, this remainder over here, you know, it's going to be stored in remaining seconds. And then out of the remaining seconds, we can find the hour. So remaining seconds divided by seconds in an hour, which is 3,600, gives us the hour. So we didn't need this if statement too. Regardless of these if statements, this days is going to calculate. The remainder is going to be carried over here. Hours is going to um, cal calcul um, be found based on the remainder. We're going to carry out. So this is going to be the exact hours. We're going to carry out the, the we're going to f uh, move over the remainder and divide by seconds in an hour. Sorry, we're going to take the remainder, yeah, rem take the remainder over here, divide by seconds in an hour to find the hours, carry over the remainder here, and then calculate the minutes from the remainder, carry over the remainder, calculate the, and then basically whatever is left after find finding the minutes is the seconds, and that's why we said remaining, remaining seconds is equal to seconds. We didn't need this else part. This else part was for this if statement. If remaining seconds is greater than or equal to seconds in a minute, we didn't need it. Um, although, although this runs, although for example, if the user entered 86,000, um, anything above, anything greater than or equal to uh, seconds in a day, this part will run, only this part of this, um, only this part will run. If the user entered, let's see, if the user entered uh, anything greater than or equal to seconds in a day, only this part of the code will run, okay? This is else if the user seconds is greater than or equal to seconds in an hour. You know, so if the user entered anything greater than or equal to seconds in a day, this is the only part of the program that's going to run. And even in this part only, we don't need the if statements because regardless of the if statement, regardless of the if statement, this is still going to run. If you can delete all the if statements and this will run. And that's all we need for the program. We don't need the rest, the rest of it. We don't need all this part of it. We don't need it. We don't need the rest of it. And this is so I guess. You know, if you wanted to, you know, based on the the number of seconds user type, it's going to branch to which 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 part. So if the, if the seconds is greater than or uh, greater than or equal to seconds in a day, it's going to branch to this part and run. Or if the seconds is greater than or equal to seconds in an hour, it's going to the program is going to branch to this part only and run. Okay, so the first part is going to branch to this part only and run, and then exit out of out of the program because it wouldn't it wouldn't even touch the rest of it. So it's it's unnecessary. A second, uh, if the user types in anything greater than or equal to seconds in an hour, it's going to branch to this part of the program. It's unnecessary. The rest doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. If the user types in anything greater than or equal to seconds in a, in a minute, only this part of the program is going to run. So that means all this part is unnecessary. Okay? That's if the user types in anything greater than or equal to seconds in a minute. Okay? Um, so, and even even if, for example, the user types in anything greater than equal to seconds in a minute, you don't need really you don't need the if statements. You don't need that. You don't need all of that. You don't need this else. Okay. Now, if the user types in anything greater than equal to seconds in a day, like I said, you don't need the if statements because regardless of the if statements, days. Okay, days. I mean, days is going to be found. These calculations are going to. This it's still going to work regardless of the if statement. Okay, so we don't we don't necessarily need it. All, all, although it works, we've put in extra code and it's not necessary. It's not necessary, although it works. So you can you can go ahead. It's going to go ahead and calculate. 
days and hours and minutes and seconds, regardless of the if statement. And we don't and and we basically all we need is to delete, you know, we all we, all we need is the first part of this program without the if statements and the else if statements and the else statements. All we need is just the first part. The only thing we are doing, which is which is which is fine, is we are carrying over, we are storing the remainder in a separate variable, and then using the remainder to to calculate the hours and and then storing the remainder in another variable and then and then calculating the minutes from from that remainder. That's fine. That's perfect. That's a, that's good. Actually, that's a that's a good way to not confuse anyone with this one. Now with this one. We did everything in one. We did we did all the calculation in one line, and stored stored it in minutes. So it's fine. But over here we are storing the remainder in a, in a, in its own variable, and then calculating the hours from the remainder, storing the remainder of that division in its own variable. Um, here, and then calculating the minutes from the remainder, storing the remainder in, in its own variable, and then basically calculating the seconds, or, or basically storing whatever is left after finding. The exact minutes, okay. Storing wh whatever is left in remaining seconds to seconds, because after finding the exact minutes, whatever is left is going to be seconds. So, the only thing that you need is basically this part of the code without the if statement, and then the rest should be deleted. It should be gone. It, it, if you leave it there, it's still going to run, but it's just um, extra code. It's that's really not really necessary. But although this program works fine, it's just extra code that's not necessarily needed. So I just wanted you to wanted to show you uh, wanted you, wanted you to know that this is working also. Just know why it's unnecessary. Just know why some of it is unnecessary. Although you can leave it and it still works. This is a shorter version of it. Doing multiple things in one line. So I just want you wanted you to see see the, the two, and then understand why this has extra code in it. That's not that's not necessary. And this is doing everything but in a tighter version okay to doing everything on multiple lines you should if you want if this is too much you know or done on a line you can again do everything here deletes the rest of the code and also delete any if statement that any line okay of this if statement so delete this line delete this line delete this if line delete this else line delete this now seconds is repeated twice. Seconds is is equal to remaining seconds. Seconds is, is equal to remaining seconds. If you delete the else and the if and the if and the if, you're going to have seconds twice. Delete one of them. Delete this in line else if. Delete this else line and delete this last curly brace. And that's what delete, delete this curly brace also. So basically, when you use this, delete any line that has an if or an else or an else if, and then delete any curly brace you see. And then once you're done, you're going to have some, these, for example, seconds is equal to remaining seconds. You're going to have these two lines. You're going to have them re repeat, delete one of them. Over here, you're going to have seconds is equal to remaining seconds. Seconds is equal to remaining seconds. You delete one of them. And then it should work. It should work fine because, again, you are carrying over the remainder in its own variable. And then you c and then calculating the, calculating the next value, which is either the hours or the minutes, or the seconds from the remaining seconds, which is fine. That's that's a good step. So, sorry for talking too much. I just wanted to explain why some of the code here is not necessarily needed, and this is a, like a simplified version of it, which does the same thing with less code. And you know why again? So why why does it not need it? And why and why you can how you can modify it to even keep it simple, you know, without having the extra code in there. So again, sorry for talking too much. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to, you know, point it out and then, you know, have you all see how, why and how. Okay, so this is the new one. If you have any questions on this one, please comment um, down below. I mean, you, you, you can you can put um, questions on both of them. But if you have questions on this one, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, bye-bye.